hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i did this simple no foundation look for you guys so if you want to see how i got this look just keep on watching um i'm not using foundation today because i just don't want to so i'm gonna show you guys a little alternative when you want to look kind of put together but you don't want to use a lot of foundation i've been doing this for maybe about a week or so and i actually like the finish of my makeup a little bit better um because i'm not using so many powders and so many stuff on my face if you will i'm just gonna use my nyx honey dewy me up dewy do me up whatever whatever and i'm just gonna use that this has like little gold flakes so it does make you look a little bit more radiant which is what we are always looking for we want to look extremely radiant and glowy and put together even when we're not because let's face it half of the time if you have kids or you work you know you just you don't look put together all the time and that's completely fine because half of the times i look like a bone i put some on my lids because um <clears throat> <clears throat> we're going to be putting shadow there even though it's not going to be a lot of shadow but i just want everything to be primed and with the same product so we don't have like no issues so after that i'm going to use the mac strobe cream and this is in the color pink light i use a generous amount of this because the glow that i get from this is is really good even when i don't wear makeup and i just put like a little bit more of moisturizer and I just popped this on my skin looks so good right now i probably look like a little disco ball or whatever and i always bring it down to my neck a little bit <clears throat> we just want everything to be proportioned together and just i know you're gonna say it's a lot of glow but it'll be worth it i'm gonna take um the l'oreal glow amore drops and i'm just going to put a little bit this is in the color golden hour so if you are a little tan um this would be you can replace this one instead of like the strobe cream if you don't want a lot of glow but i like a lot of glow so This is just like a good base for when you want to look dewy and bronzy, but you know, you haven't gone to the beach. All right, so to cover up like little blemishes like that, I'm gonna use the uh, Tarte Shape Tape and I'm going to put that under my eyes, just a little bit, not that much. of my nose just around my nose to cancel out the redness and on these ugly ugly blemishes that we have going on here take your beauty blender and just blend everything out okay so now that we've covered all of our imperfections i'm going to take the mac pro longwear concealer and this is in the color nw25 so i'm just gonna pump some of that on my hand and i'm gonna take my beauty blender and with my beauty blender i'm just gonna grab some product and i'm gonna put it on my face like a foundation kind of
Now that we're done with eyebrows, I'm going to take the Urban Decay Naked Heat Palette and I'm going to use the color Low Blow. <clears throat> Just to put like on my crease and warm up my lids a little bit. I'm really just trying to look a little alive. I'm not trying to, you know, do a whole cut crease or whatever look. So we're just warming up the lids. I do gotta tell you guys, like, I miss my lash extensions so bad. I just can't wait to go on Thursday and get them um, done again. I'm actually going, I'm not going to like my usual place. I'm going to my girl Keeks. Um, and she about to hook a bitch up because hello. I just I got so used to being with lash extensions that when I don't have them I feel like I look like a naked mole rat. <laughs> I tell my boyfriend that all the time when I don't have them and he always like, Oh you look fine. But it's it's a girl thing, you know. I'm just done with my eyes for now. So now I'm going to take a lash curler and I'm just gonna curl the little lashes I have left and I honestly only use one mascara um because I feel like it's the only one that doesn't that doesn't like give me like any issues with like you know little clumps or whatever and it's the L'Oreal Luminous Original and this is like one of the darkest mascaras I've ever ever used which is good because I like everything to be dark yes yeah, so I just curled my little lashes. I used to have really full lashes and still until I started getting lash extensions because obviously getting extensions kind of, I don't want to say ruins your lashes, but it definitely breaks them down a little bit. But, you know, i rather... with my nose I kind of bring it from my eyebrows down because that's where kind of like the structure of your nose starts and I'm taking a real techniques buffing brush this is really one of like my favorite brushes to do contour even when I'm doing like work on clients I either use this one or um, the Sephora contour brush but I feel like this one gives you more of a natural more of a natural finish to your contour as opposed to the other one that gives you more of a like really precise contour sometimes you know when you're doing like simple looks like this
contour i'm using the fenty beauty contour and this is in the color island king and i'm just gonna take the same brush that i used to cream contour which is the real techniques buffing brush and i'm just gonna take a little bit and i'm just gonna go over that contour So for blush, I'm going to use this LA um, Color Space Palette and I'm going to take this color right here. Uh, does it say what color it is? No, but this, this big ass palette I found at Ulta and it's just, it just says LA Colors. So I'm going to take this one right here. And I'm just going to put it on the apples of our cheeks. And I believe this also has a highlight. Is this highlight? It's the highlight over here. And I'm going to take a um, shadow brush. I like to use shadow brushes instead of like fan brushes for highlight because I feel like you get a more precise of where the highlight is going. Don't get me wrong, I do like fan brushes, but I just feel like you get more control when you're using one of these. So, I don't even know from where this is. I know this came in like one of like the monthly subscriptions that I get, but I just can't remember from where. So I'm just going to put some of the highlight right on the, the high points of my face and kind of bring it into like my brow a little bit. The bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, and the inside. Right, so for lips, I'm gonna use my favorite lip liner like ever. And this is in the color, well, this is MAC Stripped Down. I really just love this lip liner. I don't even know why. I just feel like it fits so well with like my skin tone and it just it just works so well with everything. And it stays on all damn day, which is like the best. And for like lipstick or lip gloss, I'm using this Alme lip gloss and this is in the color pink. And this too, I feel like it just works like amazing with my lips like i said it stays on all day these two products together like these two together girl they work amazing i always like throw them in my purse after i'm done doing my makeup just you know they're coming with me even though i don't really need it but i just it's just like a safety net you know to finish out the eyes i'm going back to this la um contour palette and i'm going to take one of the darkest contour shades which would be this one using an angled brush i'm just going to tap into it a little bit and i'm just going to put some on the outer corner like the outside and kind of bring it up a little bit do you see the difference it kind of just gives you a little bit of a smoky eye like half smoky eye and i'm just gonna spray my um nyx matte finish spray Ugh. and what i usually do is take a beauty blender and just kind of put everything together just pat everything so there's no harsh lines just everything just fits well with each other so after you've done that this look is complete um this look probably took me a whole like 15 minutes if that um it's very simple this is kind of now what i do to just kind of go out run some errands maybe go to work um, i still use foundation of course i'm not just never going to use foundation again but i just this is just a little simpler look or way when my skin is like going through it especially now with 
the weather change and everything my skin just goes ballistic and just decides to break out crazy so i try to minimize the products that i use on my face for that exact reason like down here well you guys can see a little bit but lately like my skin has been going off the charts and it's because we're obviously transitioning from summer to fall and it's hot sometimes and then not hot sometimes and it's humid and then it's not and it's raining so it just all of that mixed together it just kind of makes my skin go crazy so i try to minimize the products that i use to kind of just give my skin a break let it chill the fuck out because I can't be out here with pimples everywhere but yeah so i hope you guys enjoyed this look um and i'll see you next time bye